Hopkins. Christmas, Christmas time for you. <laughs> Duct tape, I freaking hate you. Have a anyway. <laughs> anyway. Steve, Steve anyway. Hate for tomorrow when we're playing Mario Kart. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough, Blue. Anyway. Uh, hello, all. This is Steve the VA, or HMGC VA, Steve or Speve, whatever you want to call me. And... <laughs> This is kind of different from what you're usually used to seeing me do. This is something entirely different. In fact, if you haven't read the title already, then then, then what 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 are you doing here? What 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 are you doing here? Anyway, uh, today, at least at the time of recording this, we are going to be diving in to a new D and D campaign Woo. by the name Woo. of. Fire Blight. Woo! Yay! And as, and as you can probably tell, I'm not alone. <laughs> We're all alone. I live in his walls. <laughs> so, I live in the reason everywhere why. and nowhere. So, for my players, let's go down the list, shall we? Mm -hmm. Starting with Blue Coat. Hi. I'm Blue Coat. I'm playing a uh, ranger uh, for this campaign. His name is Rothen. We'll get into like the specifics of our characters later uh, when we're actually in the town, uh, okay. if, if that's okay. All right. Okay, but yeah, uh, that, that's Blue Coat. He's he's a voice actor, same as me, and duct tape. I'm duct tape bone. I'm playing as a human monk. I crack jokes here and there. I try to be serious, but again, cracking jokes. Mm, mm. <laughs> Very nice. All those and... vector shit posts you make for a living. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And well, hitting on Stripler. I'm also an amateur voice actor as well, but you may know me as famous for bumping my knee into my fucking desk. Go check him out. He's absolutely legendary. I will. That's his assassin. Very good. You made a very wise choice. <laughs> All right. Next on the list, we have. Who are you? This is, this oh, is your oh. time. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, I was, I was giving you an opportunity, dude. Sorry. Um, thanks for you. Uh, I'll be playing a Minotaur Barbarian named Prodar. Uh, not smart, but uh, I get the job done with a company with a pretty uh, elf woman. Mm. Oh, I forgot to Alrighty. Oh, I forgot to introduce the name. The name's Olin. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Oh, don't this, worry, we'll get there. This ain't the professional start as it used to. Nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll, uh, we're not focused on professionalism right now. Or really fun. at any point. <laughs> uh, we're, we're really just focused on the fun here. Anyway. Heck yeah. First off, it, first off, fourth off, excuse me. <laughs> we have the lovely. Lexi, it's your cue. <laughs> <laughs> me! <laughs> <laughs> I am Lexi Lemondrop. I am an artist and amateur voice actor. May I will be playing the character Paula. Who are you there, bud? Who are you there? Amateur oh, voice actor. Oh, so I did say it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Things, but... <clears throat> and now, maybe, <laughs> would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm maybe Hawthorne on DeviantArt and uh, Twitter, and uh, I I draw dumb stuff, and I'm also an amateur voice actor. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Okay. Amateur voice actor for the win. <laughs> hmm. Uh, let's see. Here. Uh, now then, Robo. Salutations, everyone. I'm Robo, and uh, I'm mostly an, an amateur in general. 
And uh, yeah, I do <laughs> most voice work as well as a little artistry here or there in most corners. But basically, sort of a missing link of the internet. And uh, today, I'm going to be playing as the cowboy. <laughs> or cow elf, or cow, in this case. Or cow of elf in this case. But anyway, Damn. I'll be playing as Scurry Wright for this session. All right. With that done, Rock, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Rock Hopper. I'm an artist and in no way a voice actor. <laughs> and... <laughs> And I'll be playing a, and I'll be playing a badass fighter with their own sword and shield. Eh, <laughs> you'll, you'll get to see it, and you'll get to meet them very soon, shortly. Yeah. yeah and excellent. last but certainly not least, Zero. Hello, random people of the internet. I am Zero Royale. I sing sometimes. I voice act sometimes. And today I shall be playing Rorik Snowbane, a dwarven barbarian. Yeah. Woohoo. All right. All and right. as mentioned, we'll get into like the specifics uh, in a bit. So, mm. with that said, let us begin with Fire Blight. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Oh. The realm of al -Sain. As mystical and wondrous as can possibly be imagined. Titans that tower over the mountains. Dragons, wise and ancient. Though there are whispers of beings higher than even the dragons themselves. Known as the Sunken Ones. Little is known about them, except that they are the primordial beings that created the whole world, lying dormant below the surface in specific points of elemental concentration. However, there are other whispers in the taverns, back alleys, and castle locker rooms that a group called Fire Blight seek to locate the Sunken Ones and use their terrifying powers to reshape the world in a chaotic order that only they truly understand. Many stepped up to face them, but in the end, the city of Talambrai was lost to their unusual usage of darker magics, rabid beasts, and cursed weapons. No one dares go near the city of the damned now. That is for 15 years. And with that, I would like you all to roll a d20, which I see y'all already have. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> hey, we did already all right. the work for you. <laughs> and... Do you want to roll with those numbers, or do you want us to roll new ones? Uh... No, I can roll with this. I can roll with this. I can roll with this. All right. I'm uh, and, roll. Si <laughs> and since we start with you, maybe, <laughs> would you like to give a brief description? Well, would you like to give a description of Agatha? Okay. Um, Agatha is, uh, it's like Agatha without the H. <laughs> She's uh, about six foot ten, a uh, copper dragonborn. Um, got green eyes, and I don't know. <laughs> she's big. She's just quite a she, muscular she's a, woman. She's a tall queen. Hmm. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Agatha. Mm -hmm. For the past seven days... You have been traveling to the rel relatively across this entire continent of Al Sain. Mm -hmm. You remember briefly what the city is like, mm -hmm. being that you actually lived there once upon a time. 
Yes, when I was very young. However, there are, with the with all the whispers of Fireblight beginning to run amok again, especially in your hometown, you begin to grow suspicious and head towards Talambrai and despite many, many protests, you you just want to be sure that you can stop a tragedy before it can truly begin. And it's here where I would like to ask you... Wait, before I do that, before I do that... Uh, you end up traveling through a very thick forest. A, a forest that... And hold on, let me get the correct music. An extra thick forest. <laughs> we can't fit in through here. <laughs> Ooh, this is better. You, you, yeah. This nice. is some. This is not the kind of forest you are used to. Even like growing up in a relatively normal city or town. This mm. kind of forest is very much new to you, and it's almost like it grew over the last 15 years that you were away from the city. Mm. And it's here where I would like you to roll a strength check. Whew, okay. No pressure or anything, but this is the roll, first roll in this entire campaign, so... <laughs> Here we go! Pressure, 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 pressure. That's uh, that'll be decent. Don't worry! Thankfully, it's what? not a very high check. Yeah. So, you're, you're good. Woohoo. And that's you a plus have... three. Yeah, you have... Oh, so that's a 13. Oh yeah, remember, mm -hmm. for this dice roll, you can add pluses after the number, oh, so that okay. you can add the total amount. Yeah, that okay. I'll, I'll keep that in mind for So, uh, with a 13, you have a little bit of trouble, but somehow you manage to cut through uh, the branches and such that are blocking your path. Which is very impressive, considering you have no, like, bladed weapons on you. <laughs> Just and... <a> stick. <laughs> yep. And as you are nearing the... A very bright edge of the forest... You see what looks to be... The city of Talambrai. Thankfully, because of a sign that happens to be right next to the uh, exit of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> and it's here where you... Well, from, from this far back, you can kind of see some, some... Some similarities to what you remember. On one side of, of a wall... It's just as erect as you remember it. The stonework is very... Well, weathered, sure, but it's still holding up very solidly. Albeit with a few uh, vines and ivy growing up it. But on another side... A wall is completely toppled over. You can just... You can... Even from this far away, you can see, like, a mass pile of, like, broken stone bricks uh, that... Some of which are on the outside of the wall, but most of which are on the inside. 
and the gate, even from this far back, somehow it still looks warm and inviting. Away and nostalgia. Yeah. And as you're walking uh, out of the forest, you notice about a you, about, you notice some dark clouds that well while not too dark, you're able to see where you're going. It mm -hmm. definitely feels ominous in some weird state. Mm, bad clouds. And it's here where you see Lexi. Would you like to introduce Paula? Uh, Paula Ruby is a high elf who is a uh, level three rogue. She is five foot six, wears a lot of red, very high class. All right. And since it was a special request, Protos, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, Protos is a, a very big man, a, a minotaur man, about eight feet tall, with a great ape axe on his back, and about giving Miss Paulo here a ride on his shoulders as they, um, uh, Paul, are we, uh, are we just walking around, or? Yeah, you're just walking around. At, okay, at so she's just here. telling me where to go. Okay, yeah, uh, just yeah. listening yeah. to In Paula's fact, instructions. In fact, uh, you, you just got out, you two just got out of the forest, like, a few minutes ago. Uh, with how, uh, Lexi rolled, uh, Paula scouted ahead, allowing for Protos to uh, chop through uh, much of his path. <laughs> and Damn, you have no chance against me. <laughs> and what do you say to each other when you guys meet for the first time? So uh, we just saw uh, when we meet, maybe. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, quick question, uh, DM. Um. Would Prolus uh, know what the Dragonborn is? Uh, they're kind of common, especially where you've seen them. So, they're not exactly a new sight. Mm -hmm. yeah, How about uh, Minotaurs, Prolus? though? Have I ever seen one of those? <laughs> oh, you've hardly seen Minotaurs before. You've heard yeah, whispers. Exactly. You've heard whispers about their kind. Mm -hmm. But... This is the first Minotaur you've seen in... In fact, you've never seen a Minotaur even before the fall of Talonbri. Wow. Oh. Yeah, so Agatha's pretty taken aback. Like, first that there are people here already, but second... <gasps> Holy <laughs> smokes, you're a big guy! Uh, what? Uh, Protoss just turns around quickly. Um, oh, who's that guy? Hey, uh... <clears throat> oh, I don't know. Uh, Protoss I used down. to be in the little one. Protoss just blinks that Paul, is that a lizard folk or one of those <laughs> dragonborn things? Dragonborn? Uh. Paula. Oh, uh, she's muted at the moment. Oh, your mic's muted. Ah! Oh no. Be... Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. Back Hello, to large one. lizard lady. Would you happen to have some water <sighs> on you? Mm. I don't know about the lizards, but the dragonborn might. That's who I was oh. talking to. Large lizard oh, lady. You're a dragonborn. I don't see your folks a lot. She'll begrudgingly get out her canteen. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Do you know where this water came from? Has it been filtered? Oh, uh, sure. 
Water is water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, then I thought I was an purified. With minerals added for flavor. <laughs> May I have a drink? I'm awfully hard. Help yourself. Thank you. Oh my goodness, this is awful. <laughs> Never mind, I'm good. I can wait. Take it back. <laughs> Rogus just rubs his head. Uh. <laughs> Rolla has just like a look of disgust on her face. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's lots of minerals in the well back in town. You got this from a well? <laughs> Where would I get it? <laughs> Not from a well. <laughs> water's water, Protoss. Protoss has strong Okay, uh, can I ask Do you, you want three... any big guy? Can yep. I ask you Our three good. to roll a perception check? Perception Kay. check. All of us? Uh, yeah, all you three. You three specifically. Okay, oh, Alrighty. Alright. Well, I'm just too busy seeing you two talk. Especially with Paula on those shoulders. Okay, okay. Oops, right, that was the wrong command. <laughs> uh, yeah, exclamation point. Okay, uh... Hang on, I'm tapping my My brain went seven. back into roll 20 mode. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and that one already! <laughs> oh, bust that long to the time I well, Everyone take a shot. <laughs> I don't have any booze on me. I got a soda. I I took a shot of ice water. Okay. Uh okay, Protos, you don't really see what's going on with the city itself. You you're just paying attention to the two uh ladies in front of you. And uh Paula, you, uh, you're a little bit better. You take notice of the stonework that's been going on for, like, a good while, but nothing of major importance. But Agatha. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry if I keep saying it wrong. That's okay. It, There's several ways to just, pronounce it. it. It's just Japanese. It's just my Japanese brain. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, when you look at the gate, you see, well, it's off his hinges. Mm. In fact, it's been completely knocked down. That's probably a bad sign. But the best part, or er, best being relative in this scenario, uh... <laughs> It wasn't Protos, because Protos wouldn't have left a huge dent that would be right in the center uh, of the of the gate. But with the 17, you also see Rock. Could I get you to to uh, introduce Newbie? Okay, so Newbie. They're they're a kobold with the blue scales and the grayish white belly part, wearing uh, like a like a what do you call it a like a gamson and then <clears> then <throat> and then uh, they have like a they also wearing like a like an oversized helmet that looks that would fit on like a human or an elf properly, but then on a kobold it just like keeps. Something down over their eyes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, they and uh, uh, on their back they have like uh, straps across their back. Uh, it's like a like a short sword, like a gladius. But then on them it looks like a it looks like cloud buster sword, and they're also carrying uh, like a shield that looks like a giant sled on them on their awesome. back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, to a kobold, this is a tank. <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, to newbie, you see, uh, 
you hear like uh you hear Paula and Agata like arguing and you <laughs> and me you you just see uh uh three figures uh two of which are bigger much bigger than you are uh oh <laughs> and Paula is uh he she's only a she meets you at the hip <laughs> mm. you, mean, you, mean Paula, you mean Paula at the hip. Excuse me. Mm. So, newbie. This is like the bigger than before meme. You just see big, <laughs> yeah. bigger, biggest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, how do you go about introducing yourself to the group? Uh, w would I have uh, any reason to feel threatened uh, at this point? Roll an insight check. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, this is the first insight check I ever got on the character. I think a kobold <laughs> is always a little threat. <laughs> you mean paranoid? Small person, big world? <laughs> yes. Exactly. So, yeah, we have every an insight, and then that's, that would be plus the uh, one. <laughs> That would be a plus two. Oops. Okay. Uh, with an 11? No, 11. Yeah, yeah I, I said 11. I said 11. Okay. Uh, okay. Essentially, you... You approach with caution, but not enough to feel like that they're like a big threat. You're a little scared by the big guy, like the <laughs> like the bigger guy, but overall, you're you feel like you're in the clear, but you just want to be sure. Okay, so like I I stand up tall as as tall as a kobold could be, and then puff out my chest, go like, Alt, who goes there? Uh, what? Aww. What is this? Hey, little guy. Here? Of course. Is our child? Is <laughs> <laughs> this a child? Little man boy, what are you doing here? I am the soldier newbie. Please, stay your business. Oh, soldier. a fellow soldier. A protest gets a little salute. I return the salute. <laughs> <laughs> but in like a I confused gonna, gonna kind of way. Back, I guess. <laughs> in part of a, everybody's doing it. Do the tall man salutes while Agatha's I'm on his back? I'm definitely not. I'm not going to do whatever you guys are doing. Why is there a child here? Mm -hmm. I hate children. Relax, kobold. Kobold? He doesn't look cold. I mean, he is blue. Oh, oh my god. Another lizard. <laughs> oh, so Me a cousin of yours? <sighs> eh. Close oh, enough. Just, just, uh, just have this innocent but dumbfounded look on his face. <laughs> oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I just want to say I just love Protoss already. <laughs> yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> is that a child? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are those voices? <laughs> I'm staying up on Protoss' shoulders. I'm not going near that little gremlin. <laughs> well, Agatha's gonna like kind of kneel down and and like extend a hand for for a shake. Like, greetings, newbie. I, I'm Agatha. Just uh, just Agatha. Uh, just here to um, well. Hi, I got the and I the handshake. <laughs> so, uh, oh, very mismatched what? handshake. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, oh, I'm here to investigate. Photos, uh, I just came here on Miss Paula's orders. I'm here on a job, and I'm her bodyguard. Yes. Oh. Just, you know, flex his <laughs> arms, like, uh... Oh, and I tried to, uh, 
uh, tried to look over to Paula. Is like, oh, you have a job here too. So do I. And do I have like a letter saying saying that I have a I was deployed here or something? Uh, DM. Yes, you you absolutely do. Ah, so I pull out the, like the letter and then uh, what does it say? What I, what I'm doing here? It basically just says you're here to uh, take a look around to see if you have any of the uh, if you see any of the uh, miscreants that were causing trouble in any nearby any of the nearby towns. Ah. I'm hunting down but... some bastards. Bastards. Bastards like, like your style, time. little pun. <laughs> Looks like we're on the same job then. Ah, oh, cool. Whatever Miss Paul's job is, is Protoss's job as well. Mm. I promise I'd pay him a small amount of what I get. Well, uh, you pretty much saved my life back a long time ago, but, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, with this, uh, do you guys go in? Yeah. All yeah. right. Yes. Go along. Oh, this falls. The more the merrier. Okay. Now then, allow me to change the music. Okay, transition mm. time. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> we hold the duct tape session. <laughs> oh come on, really? <laughs> with dark with the dark clouds you see above you, this would look like a very desolate town. However, since nature kind of took its course with this town, it's not exactly anything, like, too catastrophic. You still see some remains of uh, buildings being burned down and uh, kind of, like, broken down. But it seems that over time, it just sort of... Nature just sort of rebuilt everything, albeit kind of crude. It's beautiful in an in a strange kind of way. Mm -hmm. And I need you guys to make a perception check. Again? Okay. Mm. Something better. At least it's out of that one. Indeed, 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 indeed. Indeed. Okay, Agata, you really don't see anything. <laughs> uh, you're you're just looking around at uh, how nature just rebuilt everything. Mm -hmm. You're you're just in awe. Agata's uh, having a moment. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, okay, Ooh. newbie. Ooh. Okay, newbie. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Allah's got a good newbie. view. <laughs> newbie, oh, hi, you, uh, you kind of make out like some 